Sportsmen and women have been traveling from far as Kamarang, Keiko, Kaikan, and Isineru for several days in order to participate in the event. They are identified by their own flags and colors and will over the days of the competition, August 7 to 17, participate in athletics, archery, volleyball, swimming, and other novelty games. During the future address, President Granger told the crowd that Region 7 is a great natural resource region of the country of Guyana. You all belong to a great region, 48,000 square kilometers. You're bigger than Denmark. You're bigger than the Netherlands. You're bigger than Switzerland. You belong to a great region. And this year particularly, something special happened to Region 7, to the community Mazaruni. The capital of this great region became a town, the town of Bartica. It will now have its own mayor and town council. Mr. Granger also told the crowd of the great hopes he has for the region. Well, I want Bartico to take another step for upper mind. I want Bartico to work towards establishing a sports stadium. Some of the best sports men and women in Guyana come from the hinterland, come from Region 7. But because of distance, because of lack of facilities, because of poor transportation, many of the selectors on the coastline never see your talent, never see your skill. And that's why I keep coming back, and that's why Sandra and I keep coming back here, to tell other regions about the talent that you possess. The head of state also mentioned plans to bridge the Esequibo River, improve road networks, and to access air travel as infrastructural development is important to regional and international integration and development. The National Sports Commission, NSC, under the Ground Enhancement Project, provided 16 floodlights for the ground at Camarang, and these were handed over to the District Sports Council by Minister within the Ministry of Education, Mrs. Nicolette Henry, at the event. Ten of those lights have now been installed, and games are being played during the night. Director of Sport, Mr. Christopher Jones, who declared the games open, also handed over a variety of sporting equipment. The Ministry of the Presidency, along with the NSC, provided meals and fuel along with other support to make the event possible. Minister of Indigenous Peoples Affairs, Mr. Sidney Alicock, also used the opportunity to hand over a generator to the President of the District Sport Council, Mr. Rudolph Wellington. Minister within the Ministry of Communities, Mrs. Dawn Hastings-Williams, was also present at the event. Mr. Granger said, everywhere he goes from regions 1 to 10, he tells people about the Upper Mass Games. Every village has its own pavilion. Every village has its own flag. Every village has its own identity. And you come here with friendly games. Girls and boys from all over this region. There's no other part of Guyana where we can see 10 or 12 villages coming together voluntarily with their own resources to have fun, to have games like Upper Mind. The Vice President of the Guyana Olympic Association, Mr. Charles Corbin, announced that the Upper Mazaruni is being added to the National Athlete Development Pilot Program, which is intended to introduce a new sport in schools every year until 2020. The first sport that will be introduced in the new school year is table tennis, and the program is organized by the Government of Guyana, Guyana Olympic Association, the National Table Tennis Federation, and the Guyana Teachers Union. George?